Welcome to Stump Your Friends, the game show where it's just as important to know your friends as it is to know the answers. So, let's meet our friends. Considering himself a broad spectrum nerd, it's Robert. That's what got me my wife. <laughs> That's all it takes. And knowing a whole lot about a whole lot of nothing, it's Jeremy. I make facts up. <laughs> And doing this one for Super Earth and Democracy, it's Kyle! How about a nice cup of liver tea? <laughs> there we go! So, you uh, you guys all know how the game works, right? Oh yeah. Uh... Yeah, well, we do things a little differently here on Stump Your Friends. You've brought your topics of expertise, but your friends will be the ones who assign you your trivia topics. Then, you've got 60 seconds to answer five questions, each one easier than the last, but also worth fewer points. And, of course, unlike those other game shows, the point of Stump Your Friends is not to win, but instead to make sure you're not in last. Because whoever ends the game with the fewest points will receive a bright orange safety vest to caution the world that you are easily stumped. So, without further ado, let's start round one. Let's take a look at those topics. We've got 80s hair bands, Avatar The Last Airbender, baking, Board games, classical music composers, D&D 5th edition, fishing, horror movies, and Tim Burton. Robert, you have been randomly selected to be our first assigner. So please, Robert, assign our round one first question to Jeremy. Ooh. Well, I know one of these for sure that's Jeremy's would be the D&D I have a feeling. Yeah, please don't. How dare you, sir? <laughs> <laughs> um, let's go with horror movies. Okay, horror movies. Jeremy, how do you feel about horror movies? I like them. Which one's your favorite horror movie? Ooh, Jeepers Creepers was good. Uh, <laughs> Dawn of the Dead was good. Shaun awesome. of the Dead was better. Well, I think that pretty much covers the gamut. So you've got 60 seconds and five questions here in horror movies starting right now. For five points, who directed the movies Saw, Dead Silence, and The Conjuring? Uh, it was not Stephen King. That is correct. It was mm -hmm. James Wan. <laughs> For four points, what is the name of the town where it takes place? Um, in Wisconsin. Ooh, it's in no. Derry, Maine. In three points, what food is Casey preparing in the opening scene of Scream? Pizza? It mm -hmm. is popcorn. For two points, when you watch the video from the ring, you will die after how many days? Is it seven? It is seven. Nice job. For one point, what is the name of the main villain in Halloween? Michael Myers. It is Michael Myers. Hey, that wasn't so bad. Three yeah. points. You're on the board. I mean, yes. you're the first one to answer any questions, but you're in first place. That's right. <laughs> well, Jeremy, you're not done yet. You're not off the hook. You still have to assign a topic to Kyle. Oh, Kyle. Um, uh, I know you probably know a whole lot about this topic. How do you feel about D&D 5th Edition, Kyle? You know, because we've been <laughs> friends for years. You know 100%, <laughs> and I know nothing. That is a shame. <sighs> that sounds like a bummer, Kyle, but hey, maybe you've uh, just kind of absorbed it through pop culture? I don't know. Yeah. Did you see the movie? Baldur's Gate was something. That, have you played Baldur's Gate? No. <laughs> oh, great. So you're going to be doing just fine here in D&D 5th Edition. 60 seconds, five questions, starting now. Who co-created D&D along with Dave Arneson for five points? Mark Rosewater. Uh, close? It was Gary Gygax. For four points, two of the most infamous artifacts in D&D are the hand and eye of what evil deity? Cyclops. Ooh, it's Vecna. For three points, Arcana, History, and Investigation are skills associated with which main attribute? Charisma. Close, mm -hmm. it's intelligence. For two points, sneak attack is a defining feature of what character class? 
rogues. Yes, that is right! <laughs> and for one yeah! point! What is the term used to refer to the player who runs the game? Dungeon Master. Yes! Oh, that was great! <laughs> All right, Kyle. We've got one final question here in round one. Please assign to Robert. So there's strategy involved in this. Take off things that I don't want to do. So, fishing, friend. Okay. <laughs> I imagine that uh, Robert is a big fisherman. Is that right? Uh, the, quite the largest one I know, actually. <laughs> Well, I ooh, think Jeremy I fishes fish. more than I do. That's my category, bud. I know, I was playing it up. <laughs> yeah, well. All right, here we go, Robert. You got five questions, 60 seconds here in fishing, starting now. The International Game Fish Association is headquartered in what U.S. state? Because it has a thousand lakes, Minnesota. Good mm -hmm. guess, but it's actually Florida. For four points, what is another name for a wet fly, which is fished subsurface and designed to resemble insect larva? A jig? It's a nymph, but that is a fishing term. For three points, what specific fish is most closely associated with the controversial technique called noodling? A catfish. That's correct. That's our first three pointer. For two points, what is the most popular freshwater fish to catch in the US? Uh, crappies. It's the bass. And for one point, what six letter A word is another term for someone who fishes with a hook and line? Oh, I mean, this is a hard one, but it has to be an angler. It is an angler. Hey, hey, hey. Not bad at all. That puts you in first place, Robert, as we move to round two, which works exactly like round one, but with more pictures. Because who doesn't like more pictures? Kyle, please assign ah. our first topic of round two to Jeremy. Hello, Jeremy, my friend. Classical musical composers. <laughs> okay. I know all of them. Come on. Beethoven. Uh the other guys. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, oh yeah, no, I mean, you pretty much named all of them right there. So let's go ahead and give you a 60 seconds on the board. You got five questions right here. For five points, whose signature is this? Uh, Mozart. Uh, it's actually Dmitry Shoshkatovich. I just said his name. <laughs> For four points, this is a statue of what composer? Um, Beethoven. <laughs> one of these will be Beethoven. This one is George Frederick Handel. It's bound to be. And for three points, this is sheet music from what famous set of concertos? Uh, uh for Elise? I don't know. Kind of close. It's four seasons. For two points, what composer is represented in this pictogram? I know you got this one, dude. <laughs> I don't know. It Schubert? It is Schubert! And for, with only three seconds left for one point, who's this? Gosh, that's yeah, gotta be Mozart. It is Mozart! We'll give it to you. He snuck in under the radio there. That was close. <laughs> well done. All right, we're gonna keep this moving forward. Jeremy, please assign a topic to Robert. Oh, Robert. Um, gosh, buddy, how did you do in baking class? I Whoa. love to bake. Oh, then 80s hair band. <laughs> <laughs> the quick slide. I love it. Let's go. 80s hair band, 60 seconds, five questions. You know the drill. Starting now. For five points, what is the name of this album? No idea. That's actually oh, not God. it. That's Dr. Mm -hmm. Feelgood, folks. For four points, what song's music video is this from? I feel I'm gonna be stumped this round. <laughs> what do you got? <laughs> Nothing. Okay, it's Here I Go Again by Whitesnake. For three points, what band is this? Uh, Twisted Sister. That is Twisted Sister, nicely done. And for two points, who is this guitarist? 
I know it's wrong, but Van Halen and Kyle will kill me for that. It is oh. Van Halen. <laughs> for one point, who is this? Oh come, um, oh, come on. Alice Cooper. It is Alice Cooper. Oh my God, was that the best round yet? Well done. You are up in first place, Robert, with 10 points. Well done. All right, well, let's finish off round two here. Robert, please assign to Kyle. Uh, let's give Kyle some board games. Okay. Man, they're really hitting you hard with the uh, with the games, huh? They got you with D&D, now you're doing board games. How do you love board games? They know I'm a guy that's all about business and I don't have time for any jokes <laughs> or games, so we'll see what happens. That's uh, certainly games. true. Well, five questions, 60 seconds, starting now. For five points, what board game is represented by these images? Risk? It is Risk. For four points, this is an ancient version of what modern board game? Shoots and Ladders. It is Shoots and Ladders. Look out, folks. This is looking good. For three points, this is a page from what game's rules? Terra? Ooh, it's Catan. Catan, you nerds. For two points, what game is blurred here? Scrabble. It is Scrabble, and for one point, what game's board is this? Chess. That is chess. My God, man, we... See, you're so close. That was incredible. Wow, we went from our highest scored round from six points to 12 points. That's almost a perfect round. Well done, Kyle, well done. All right, as we move on to our final question, we've only got three categories left. Avatar The Last Airbender, baking, and Tim Burton. And now, Jeremy, I hate to break it to you, but you are in the last place right now. But the good news is that you get to choose our final category. So, what's it gonna be? I wanna go with baking, but I feel like I've seen all of the Avatar Last Airbender, so we're gonna go with Avatar The Last Airbender. Okay, okay. Avatar The Last Airbender for our final question. How do you guys feel about uh, Avatar The Last Airbender? I mean, I picked it. General Iroh's the best. <laughs> Among these two, not good. <laughs> Everything can be solved with good tea. That's right. <laughs> okay, we've got our final category, so now we go to the big final question. Here's how it works. Our contestants will be asked the same Avatar question, and anyone who answers without any additional hints can win up to 15 points. Of course, the more hints that they wait to hear, the fewer points the answer is worth. So, without further ado, the final question here in Avatar The Last Airbender. What kind of animal does Wan Shi Tong's regular form most closely resemble? Please submit your answers now. Next hit, please. <laughs> All right. Your first hint. Wan Shi Tong is the overseer of the Hidden Spirit Library. Now, I'm good. If you like to change your answer or submit for the first time. Kyle. <laughs> it's only worth 10 points. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna send an answer. All right, hey, I, I feel like any guess is better than no guess, right? Yeah. Life is great. <laughs> <laughs> Life is great. You got friends like us, buddy. That's right. You might just get a safety You're gonna look real good. <laughs> You're gonna look real good in that vest. Okay, here's your final hint. He resembles a type of bird of prey. <laughs> now, if you'd like to change your answer, Kyle, maybe without a question mark this time, now's the time. And hey, Robert, Jeremy, if you feel inclined to do so as well, you can. Oh no, I'm good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, Kyle. I think you're going to be getting an orange vest. 
I mean, this is worth up to 15 points, and right now, Robert and Jeremy are locked in at 15. <sighs> I have to know, did you guess a bird? No. Okay. All right. Well, all of our answers are in. You're all submitted. So, uh, Kyle, let's start with you. Uh, what kind of Why? animal does Wan Shi Tong's regular form most closely <laughs> resemble? A vulture? Okay, a vulture! And that is worth up to five points for you there. Robert, what kind of animal does Wan Shi Tong's regular form most closely resemble? An owl. Uh, and Jeremy, would you agree? I, I do agree. Giant owl? Because it is, in fact, an owl. More specifically, a barn owl. Okay, those were big 15-pointers, which launches Robert and Jeremy up into first and second place, respectively, meaning, Kyle, I am so sorry, but you have been stumped. Kyle, we are going to be sending you a nice, bright orange safety vest, and Robert, Jeremy, take a bunch of pictures, post them online, make sure to tag Sporkle and stump your friends to let the world know that Kyle is easily stumped. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Uh, Kyle, Robert, uh, you both lost the game because this will be on the no! internet. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for playing, and hey, all of you audience members, how'd you guys do over there on YouTube land? Let us know your score down in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next Stump Your Friends. Say goodbye, everyone. Bye. See ya. Bye.